Step back in time to ancient Greece and behold the marvels of engineering and technology that still amaze us to this day, the ancient Greek automata. These remarkable mechanical devices, built between the 4th and 1st centuries BCE, were the epitome of ingenuity and creativity, crafted by the skilled hands of Greek engineers and craftsmen. Picture walking through the bustling streets of ancient Alexandria, Athens, or Pergamon and coming across one of these intricate machines in action. The doors of a temple suddenly swing open without a human hand touching them, a musical instrument plays an ethereal tune all on its own, or an audience is enthralled by an automated theatrical performance. It's no wonder why the ancient Greek automata were a source of awe and amazement to the people who lived during this time. Powered by the elements themselves wind, water, and steam, these mechanical marvels were designed to perform complex movements and tasks with effortless grace. From opening temple doors to entertaining crowds, the ancient Greek automata were truly ahead of their time. Talos, the legendary bronze automaton of ancient Greece, is one of the most fascinating examples of ancient Greek automata. According to myth, Talos was created by the god Hephaestus to protect the island of Crete and its people. This towering figure, said to stand approximately three meters tall, was made of bronze and was powered by a single vein that ran from his head to his ankle, filled with ichor, the blood of the gods. He was said to have patrolled the island's coastline, throwing rocks at any ships that approached the island without permission. It is also said that Talos would regularly make rounds around the island, checking for intruders and ensuring the safety of the inhabitants. Talos was described as being incredibly strong and nearly invulnerable, with a single weakness, a bronze nail in his heel. It is said that when this nail was removed, Talos would bleed to death and cease to function. This weakness proved to be his undoing, as he was eventually defeated by the Argonauts during their quest for the Golden Fleece. In terms of its engineering, Talos was a remarkable feat of ancient technology. Its design and construction would have required a high degree of skill and knowledge of metalworking and mechanics. It is estimated that, if such a device were to be built today, it would require the use of advanced robotics and materials engineering to replicate its functions. The automated theater of Heron of Alexandria was a collection of mechanical devices that were used to perform plays and other forms of entertainment in ancient Greece. This incredible feat of engineering was created by Heron of Alexandria, a renowned mathematician, inventor, and engineer who lived in the first century CE. Heron's automated theater was said to have included a wide range of mechanical devices, including moving puppets, special effects, and other elements that added to the overall experience of the performance. For example, the theater might have included automated doors that opened and closed, water features that sprouted up from the stage, and even machines that created the sounds of thunder and lightning. The level of technological sophistication required to create the automated theater was impressive, even by modern standards. Heron was known to have been a skilled mathematician, and his expertise in this field would have been essential in designing the complex mechanics and gears required to make the theater work. It is estimated that the theater would have required the use of a range of advanced engineering principles, including mechanical engineering, hydraulic engineering, and pneumatic engineering. Despite its technological prowess, the automated theater of Heron of Alexandria has been lost to the sands of time, and very little is known about its exact design or how it was operated. The bronze bull of Phalaris was a legendary torture device created in ancient Greece. It was said to have been made of bronze and was shaped like a bull with a hollow interior large enough to contain a person. The person was then locked inside the bull, which was heated until the metal became red hot, causing the victim to slowly roast to death. According to legend, the bronze bull was created by the tyrant Phalaris of Akragas, who ruled the city in the 6th century BCE. Phalaris was known for his cruelty, and the bronze bull was said to be one of his favorite methods of punishment. While the exact design and construction of the bronze bull is not well documented, it is believed that it would have required a high level of skill and knowledge in metalworking and blacksmithing to create. It is estimated that the bronze used to make the bull would have weighed several tons and would have needed to be heated to high temperatures in order to be shaped and molded into its final form. 
Its legacy as a symbol of cruelty and brutality remains, and the bronze bull remains one of the most intriguing and disturbing examples of ancient Greek technology. The ancient Greek singing bird box was a mechanical marvel that amazed audiences with its lifelike imitation of birdsong. This intricate device was made up of a series of complex gears, levers, and pulleys that worked together to produce the chirping and tweeting of various bird species. Although the exact design of the ancient Greek singing bird box has been lost to history, we can imagine it was a masterpiece of ancient engineering, requiring a deep understanding of mechanics, acoustics, and sound production. It's estimated that the ancient Greek singing bird box was made of metal, likely bronze or iron, and that it measured approximately 20 to 30 centimeters in length and width, with a height of 10 to 15 centimeters. The intricate internal mechanism would have consisted of a series of bellows, reeds, and flutes that produced the bird sounds. It is believed that the bird box was operated by a series of levers and cranks that were used to manipulate the bellows and reeds, creating a lifelike representation of birdsong. The ancient Greek singing bird box was a popular form of entertainment in ancient Greece and was likely used for both public and private performances. It was considered a luxury item and was likely owned by only the wealthiest members of society. It's estimated that the ancient Greeks created only a handful of these devices, making them incredibly rare and valuable objects. Despite its popularity, the ancient Greek singing bird box has been lost to history, and very few examples of this incredible device have survived to this day. The exact design and operation of these devices have been lost to history, but they remain a fascinating glimpse into the technological advancements of ancient times. Despite their complexity, these ancient Greek automata demonstrate the human desire to create machines that bring life and entertainment to the world around us.